Here we are at the Natural Products Expo West in Anaheim, California, 2014. We are at the Natural Care booth. Now, if you guys have seen my video on toxic tampons, you know how important the subject matter is. Joining me is Susie, the owner of Nature Care. Tell me why you started this company, Susie. I didn't really start a company, it was a campaign. I was so irritated and annoyed by the state of the the, the conventional products out there and the, the fact that they didn't really care what we thought about the products that we were using. I was angry and so for me it was, I'm going to do something about this. And Nature Care was the product of that. I developed the products and the business came out of having to look after that product. So it wasn't one day I said, let's start a business, I need a business. It was, I need to solve this problem. And the problem was that of pollution, the effect on our environment, the effect on our persons, and also the issues of toxic shock syndrome and plastic in the environment. So. It wasn't really a business, although today it is a business. We're in 65 countries around the world. Congratulations, that's wonderful. How long have you been in business? 25 years. So 25 years ago, it was still the same kind of pollution and toxicity in our personal care products? Yeah, there was nothing out there. It was just, this is the status quo. Plastic, bleached products, bleached with chlorine gas and chlorine dioxide, which is just as toxic. There was no consciousness. I mean, I was working with environmental groups, with the Women's Environmental Campaign, Greenpeace, Friends of the Earth. We were all talking about dioxin in the environment and, and that it was going to impact on health. But there was no, at that time, it wasn't categorized as a carcinogen. And I think it took maybe 10, 15 years before the EPA even classified it as a known carcinogen. So all paper products would have dioxin residuals from toilet paper, coffee filter paper, and down to feminine hygiene products. So it was a big issue, but it wasn't the only issue. There was also the fact that in the early 80s, women were dying from using tampons. The identification of the toxin that was causing toxic shock syndrome was linked to tampons, and it's a very unique toxin. Research then pointed to the fact that maybe it's not just the absorbency, it may be the fiber type. And so we, as an 100% cotton tampon, our, we were included in the research and they couldn't generate to any toxins on our tampons. So because you were using the organic cotton? Yes, we're using organic cotton and we're using 100% cotton. We're not using viscose or polyester. We're not using dyes. We're not using fragrances, all the other stuff. that. Or the, the plastic polymers that are now in tampons, it's like, why is there plastic polymers in tampons? Well, you know, a lot of brands, if they want to differentiate themselves from each other, they, there's all sorts of additions that aren't necessary, um, but it does differentiate them on the shelf. What we do is it's pure, 100% organic cotton. We don't need anything else. It's a gentle fiber. It absorbs slowly, and it will not impact on your health. It won't leave residuals behind that are bioaccumulative. Dioxin is bioaccumulative. You can't get rid of it. Wow. So will we see, I mean, I know your products are pretty much everywhere that health food is sold, um, but will your products be in the more like mainstream, like uh, all over America type grocery stores and gas stations? We're not in gas stations, but we're already out there. We've, and we've been in America for 21 years. We are the brand leader. It, it really does come down to the integrity of the buyer in, and, and also their knowledge of, of, the, of the product. And we do present, but it is a buying decision. And often they, they will get a buyer or say, I understand this, we're going to give women an option. And it is there, it is in those stores. So it depends on the buyer, if the buyer happens to have a consciousness about it. It is, it really does contend on it. And women putting, you know, it's not just us going and saying, please list this, this is why you should list it. It's also women asking for it. So the consumer saying, look, we need to have an organic option at the store. Yeah, take control. Don't be afraid to go in and ask for what you want and know the, that you we only need organic cotton. That's all that we need to, to, to function here. So thank you so much for your contribution to the marketplace. And thank you for the interview. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hope you liked that video. Please subscribe to my channel. And for more healthy, happy lifestyle living, go to BlytheNaturalLiving.com. See you there.